Hello YouTubers and welcome to Geeky Bricks. Uh, we thought we would share with you um, what you can see right here. Let's just move my little Geeky Bricks stand out the way there. Um, it is indeed Lego Dimensions, as you can see there. And it is a case for... Lego uh, Dimensions. For the Lego Dimensions, absolutely. You can hear Ethan in the background, so Ethan is here with me. Um, it's a gaming capsule, as it says there. Um, I'd call it more of a, I'd call it more of a box myself, but anyway. Um, but yeah, this is obviously to store the Lego Dimensions figures in, which is I've been looking for something to do that. Um, and then this official one came out, so I saw it, so I thought I'd get it. Um, I have to say, it's smaller, and I have to say, a lot smaller than what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be more like the size of the Skylanders boxes, which are probably oh, two, four, two, four, of them. four of those, four times the size of this. You can put my hand on it, you can see it's only just a little bit smaller than the sand size of my hand. It's more like a sandwich box. But anyway, <laughs> but we'll see. My, hand. It, my hand's only as big as that one. Well, no, you got, you got a smaller hand because you're smaller. We'll, we'll see how many uh, this actually takes. I don't know if it says on the back how many. It's in it, don't know. Uh, there's the back. I'll just zoom into the back a minute. I'm sure you can see that. There's the packaging at the top there. We do have a black plate. So I'm going to get these opened up. Just take this off, I'm not going to take much opening up. Um, we will get a Lego Dimension figure, or a couple of them. Which Ethan's going to go and get because they're in our lounge with the Xbox. Um, and we'll see them what it looks like inside here, so we'll be right back. Right, so first of all, let's get this off. Let's just get it ripped off and keep that away. So, okay, the first thing that we see on here is I was going to say an upside down sticker. <laughs> that obviously means I've got the set upside down. Let's just show you that. Opens it up and he thinks, oh my god, they put the sticker on upside down. But I guess what would happen is if I just simply do that, then we can now see. And Ethan. Not open it. <laughs> okay, so that just do it from that side there, pushes forward or pulls forward like that, and that is a pretty cool piece. I have to show you that. So that's the locking mechanism. There you can see they've got that uh, four by six black plate embedded. I'm not sure that's stuck in there. It is. You can see that is. Um, stuck in there, um, but they've got a 4x8 plate in there. Okay, so back to the table. So that's off, just simply opens up. It is a case, you know, not a lot to say about this really. Uh, you can see there the slots. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six smaller slots. They're going to be really for minifigures. We've got two of those long ones, one long one there. Bit more of a square one there, two sort of oblong, rectangular shaped ones down here. Yeah. So then we've got a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve slots. So two, <coughs> we've four, got six, eight, ten, twelve. We've got a couple of our figures. Let's bring those in, Ethan. One, two, three, four, and that. We've okay. got another Ninjago one and. Oh, we've got quite a few we haven't cop. opened. And Scooby Doo, Bad Cop. Yeah, we've got a few. I've got some more in order. Emmett so. and. So Emmett. we have Gandalf. So let's just I want to see how these actually fit in here. So does that go in there with his hat on? I don't think it will. That's just his staff that's doing that, but that's not a good start because that is really pushing down on him. When you take try to mm. take this. Okay, so not a good start. That one. Wild Star fits in there. So I think to get I think Gandalf in there, we're going to have to take off his, his hat. hat. Nice Even stick. then, and his staff as well. So it's not particularly great, I have to say. First impressions. I think they would have checked these things. But if you take the accessories off, then it starts to fit. So we've got Gandalf in there. And Batman, will Batman ones, fit? I think these ones, these little cars, are very neat. Anyway. So even Batman's not going to fit that thing. No, no, even with his ears sticking up, it's pushing down. Oh dear, oh dear. Lego, what are you playing at? Check first, make sure they fit. What you have to do is make it a little tiny bit taller. Because it's they only just don't fit. I mean, you could squeeze them, but I don't want to push down on them. 
them. So, yeah, I'm not so convinced with that. Let's try and get the Ninjago figure in. Does that fit? Yeah, that one does. So that fits, but anything, anything that is slightly taller than a minifigure, guys, is going to be quite hard to fit in there. Yeah, even that, is it on its side or anything? No, right in there. Right. Did it fit in there at an angle? No, that one. Yeah, okay. So that one fits in there at an angle. Oh, that one will go in there. So let's just tip this up a little bit like right, that and then try and zoom in. So there you can see some of those figures in there. But like I said, these ones down here, you can see where I've had to take off Gandalf's hat and Batman's um, hat as well. Um, to make them fit, but they go in there. I mean, it's Lego, it's not a massive hardship. You can take bits off, etc. But I would have preferred it if you could actually keep the bits in it because you can just whip them out and play, play. them. Um, you know, be ready to play. But anyway, so that's it for that case. We can close it. And is that sealed? So let's try. See, it looks like the gaps across the top of them as well. So I was just trying to see if it's actually flush fitting. I can't really tell. Might be actually. Flush. So that when you tip it across, it's so like that, so they can't fall over into the other sections. I'm not even going to do that anyway, because obviously it will all start to break and fall apart, which wouldn't be particularly. Great. When I when I anyway. built that without any instructions, and past them vehicles don't get any instructions. No, they don't actually in the game itself. But anyway, guys, that's it. Just to show you this Lego Dimensions capsule, game capsule as they call it. I'd call it more of a game case, personally. Mm. Um, but yeah, there you go, guys. Hopefully this was helpful to you. If it was, let me know down in the comments. I bought this on Amazon, by the way. Um, this came from Amazon. Um, but yeah, that's it for my, I guess, unboxing, you can kind of call it that, and review of this case. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did, give it that big thumbs up. Let me know what you think. If you've got one of these, let me know what you think as well, down in the comments section. Um, yeah, I guess that's it really. So let's just pause this video for a minute. So there we go, guys. There you can see the case there without Ethan playing with it. <laughs> what do you think? Good? Yeah, good. Okay. It's not as good as a Skylander box, though, is it? It's not as big. There's not much room inside, is there? No? Okay, you can see he sort of lost his voice a little bit there, which he normally doesn't do, smiling away. Um, anyway guys, that's it for this video. It was supposed to be shorter than this, but as usual, we're waffling on, aren't we? Talking away. Um, anyway, that's it. Thumbs up, comments, subscribe to the channel, and we look forward to seeing you all in the next video. In the next video. Come and say goodbye then. See you later, everyone. Bye. Bye for now. Bye, 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 bye.